Hey, my Grace and Griffins. It's Coach Fuss here for another Mystery Gym class. So, as you may or may not know, this week was Earth Day. So, I thought it would be fun if we had an Earth Day themed Mystery Gym class. Everything that we do today has to do with Earth. So, because it's still April, I'm going to start off by reading a poem, okay? So the poem is called Waste and Pollution. We all need to reduce our waste. Let's do it now with plenty of haste. It's also important for us to reuse. If we're really lucky, we'll be on the news. Our future must be sustainable. We can do it. It's all attainable. About our environment, we need to care. It's the only one we have and we have to share. Global warming and greenhouse gases. To see the harm, you don't need glasses. As a team, we'll reduce pollution. Caring is the first solution. Hi, everyone. I'm an environmental scientist. As Coach Fuss said, earlier this week was Earth Day. I know that you guys up where you all live um, have been experiencing some cold, rainy weather this week, maybe even some hail. But down in Texas, it's been sunny and 75, 80 degrees all week. For today, what I wanted to talk about is the process by which the earth warms itself. And this process is called the greenhouse effect. We know that the sun gives off light and heat and that light and heat will travel all the way through space towards earth. Now around the earth we have this barrier or this blanket or the shield called our atmosphere. This atmosphere protects us from most of the incoming solar um, light that just bounces back off our atmosphere and travels out into space. Now for the solar uh, radiation or light that comes from the sun and it makes its way through our atmosphere, it can travel all the way down to the surface of the earth. So we can see everybody every day. When that's not happening, it's dark outside. The earth naturally emits CO2 or carbon dioxide and CH4 or methane. And these gases are found all through our atmosphere. These gases absorb some of this incoming solar light. It traps this light, this heat, in our atmosphere and it heats up our earth. Earth would be frozen. It would be not inhabitable for any of us humans or animals or plants, all the things that live and thrive on our earth. Back to you, Coach Fuss. Thank you, Miss Megan, for explaining what the greenhouse effect is. All right, guys, so now my favorite part of the video is the movement part. So I need all of us to shake our arms, shake our legs out, okay? Pick one object, and it's going to be your sun. Because we are going to be the earth, like I have right here. And the object, the sun, is what we're going to be running around. So we're going to run around the sun, and then when I blow my whistle, we're going to do an exercise, okay? Ready? Set? Go! Run and run your son as fast as you can! Go, 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 go! Run, run, run! Five jumping jacks! Ready, set, go! One, two, three, four, five! Good job! We're running around the sun again! We're running around the sun! You can even do high knees! Seven. 
the toe touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're running around the sun. Good job. All right, I hope you enjoyed this week's mystery gym class. All right, have a good weekend, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye.